Hello and welcome in this video in which we'll see how to install the SAP GUI on Windows. So if you have purchased an SAP Access, you must have received some instructions about how to uh, download the SAP GUI and um, uh, especially about your server and your user. So these are the instructions and let's see together what we can do. So for example, these are the instructions I have and uh, here I have copy pasted uh, here the uh, the details I need to to connect uh, to the server. So first of all, I have downloaded these two files. So the first file is the sub GUI. I will extract it. So the files are quite big, so I downloaded it, downloaded them before uh, starting uh, this video. So as you can see, the sub GUI is one gigabyte approximately. And there is also a patch that is 150 megabytes. So it can be a lot of data to download depending on your, on your connection. So I downloaded it before. And uh, as you can see, even just <laughs> um, unzipping the archive that contains the sub GUI installation might take some time. So in my case, it's about, uh, about uh, two minutes. So once uh, this file will have been unzipped, we'll be able to proceed with the installation on Windows computer. And then, of course, uh, install the patch and after that, connect to, uh, to an SAP server. So now the archive is uh, soon um, um, unpacked, so we can go to the archive uh, up, and we can start. So where is it? Here we want the GUI for Windows, and here we uh, we find all the installation files. So if we refer to the installation, uh, we, yes, so we should uh, download this. And uh, uh, actually, there is no no more information <laughs> about uh, what we should use. But now it is uh, it is open, and we will we will start the SAP GUI setup. So from the from the archive. I will just show you the path. So from the archive, I went to the I went to the folder of Press One GUI Windows uh, Win32, and here I have the sub GUI setup. And I will start with the sub GUI setup. It opens the front end installer. So the front end, of course, is a so what we need the GUI, the graphical user interface for Windows to access uh, SAP. So I want a sub GUI for Windows. Um, and uh, eventually, if you want, you can check the add-on. So, for example, this is the Knowledge Warehouse. Uh, let's install. I have a space on my computer. The automatic workstation update. Um, this I don't really want to uh, install. And the SNC client encryption to um, encrypt communications. Uh, I'm not sure if I need this one. Probably not. So, we just install the sub GUI and uh, for me the. Uh, extra knowledge file. And now the SAP GUI is being installed on my Windows 10 uh, desktop. So it should be <laughs> faster actually uh, to install the SAP GUI than it was to unzip the uh, archive that contains these installation files. So here, of course, you have to uh, wait a little. And the next step after the SAP GUI will have been installed will be to uh, update it to patch it. Uh, so because this uh, installation file is uh, basic and there has been an update to the SAP graphical user interface, which comes in um, uh, in, a, in a package, so a, a, a patch. So now uh, SAP has been installed, the GUI has been installed on Windows, but it asked me to uh, reboot, so I will not reboot uh, now, but I will go back to my folder. Here, find the patch. I will extract the patch. It is much faster <laughs> to, uh, to unzip. And here, I will install this patch. So with the self-extractor, it will uh, alone um, open. OK. And now I am running the patch. So this patch is to make sure that there will be no issue to connect from my computer to a server. And the component uh, is being uh, installed as they uh, as they mentioned. 
And actually, that's it. After this uh, patch will have been installed, the SAP GUI will be fully installed on the computer and it is possible to proceed with uh, SAP to go to play with, uh, with uh, your, your server, to, uh, well, to add your servers to the list of servers. Well, if probably you have more than one, usually, especially if you use SAP in a professional environment, you usually get at least three servers. Uh, one for uh, one for testing, one for staging, and one for production. Here I will only have one server, and uh, soon the sub GUI will be installed. And the patch installation actually takes longer than the sub GUI 750 itself, but it will be completing soon. Okay, it is completed. So let's try to run it. As I haven't restarted my computer, it might uh, run um, through some issues, but it should not. So now I have, as you can see, the SAP logon has been, uh, SAP has been insta installed and the SAP logon icon has been added to my desktop. So let's open SAP. And here you go, I have a SAP NetWeaver, a SAP GUI for Windows. And here, uh, from this uh, GUI, I can add a new server, so add new entry. Uh, I don't have anything yet, so yes, uh, user specified system, it's a custom application server. And here you have to fill in, of course, the description. So the description for me is MMC server. Uh, and here um, I have been sent uh, my uh, server detail. So here, for example, I have the SAP router string. System ID is this. Instant number is uh, zero, 00. This is the server. And I can continue. Um, I don't have a secure network especially, and I will connect on high speed connection on local area network and not on low speed connection. So uh, this is especially uh, useful, of course, if you have a low speed connection, if you are connecting, for example, through a mobile network or, or other type of connection. In my case, I have a uh, fiber, so it's pretty good. And I can continue. So here you can choose the language. If the language is uh, is installed on the GUI, you will be able to use it by default when uh, calling this server. But if it is not installed, you will get the uh, server standard uh, standard uh, language. You can also change the encoding if necessary. But in most cases, you can leave these options as they are. And that's it. Uh, my uh, server is uh, is here. I can open it and. I can uh, try to connect. So here uh, you have to enter, of course, your uh, client number. So this is my client, this is my user, and my password. Yeah, that doesn't show. Uh, yeah. I have forgotten my password. But if you have your password, of course, uh, you can connect, and it is pretty easy. So that is all. Now the SAP uh, uh, GUI is installed, and you can simply connect to your favorite uh, sub server. So thank you for your attention. If you like this video, of course, uh, please uh, uh, put a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to uh, this uh, channel for more, uh, more inf informative video, activate the bell to be notified of new videos. And if it was useful, please uh, do not hesitate to share it with, with your, uh, your social network. So thank you very much and see you soon for a new video.